Hello you guys, it's Dennis LG back here in Montreal. Um, didn't feel like uh, filming the proper review, I'm just, just a little tired taking some time to rest over the weekend. Um, but uh, I was craving a hoppy beer for a while. I really needed something with loads of hops. But um, I, mean, I was planning to actually go today and uh, do some minor beer shopping just you know get a six pack of something like the American pale American style uh, pale ale or something like that AMB one I did in the brief review but the weather had different plans uh, we've had loads of snow coming from the skies I guess but like there's a huge snowstorm um, so I decided to stay in and uh, see what I have in my sort of storage in my uh, little mini beer cellar. Now um, I was certain at one point that I'm through with the old IPAs because the, the thing that happened last year I got hold of a whole you know range of beers in the States and in Toronto and the other places and in Germany and I just didn't have the time didn't have the time to uh, drink all of them so uh, what happened with IPAs well they they kind of faded out and, and uh, they weren't as hoppy as um, intended by the brewer so this is the last one I got this in late May and this is the Lagunitas IPA from Petaluma California and it's sort of considered one of the classic examples of the West Coast IPA and it was fairly cheap for this bomber which is, it's a bomber it's, it's a different shape of the bottle it's reminded me of the Three Floyds um, Admiral Nelson I reviewed with Barry so it's still 22 US fluid ounces or 650 mils and uh, it was only three dollars for this bottle so it's a good deal um, it's not nothing special it's their regular brew see, see it says unlimited release here um, but yeah I put it out right now I haven't tried it yet let's take a look at the beer by the way I'm using my newly acquired Spitfire glass it's very funny uh, it's sort of a cross between a nonic and uh, a tulip pint glass because you know it's sort of shaped like the tulip but it's got it's got the sides kind of straightened out and it still has the bulge kind of on the side but the beer itself it's got a funny um, kind of rocky uh, iceberg kind of float of foam in the middle of the whole head and it's a very pale color it appears sort of uh, copper on camera but it's actually it's actually quite pale it looks more um, like very light amber color just take a smell yeah I'm guessing quite a bit of citrus and a bit of pine very straightforward in terms of the hops and the aroma a bit of caramel maybe a bit of slight fruitiness to it maybe a bit of orange but it's fairly one-dimensional it's uh, it's just the hops that are there but I'm still glad they're you know the present uh, to this extent so I'm gonna take a swig now Hmm. Hmm. That's nice. Cause I, I had a bad feeling it's gonna be very dry. But this actually tastes quite mild. Hmm. Yeah, this is good IPA, great. As with these old IPAs I'm reviewing, because I you know, um when you when you hold on to a beer for too long, especially if it's a hoppy beer, that's what happens. Um, you get a, b a very nice breadiness that you don't, don't normally get when you just buy it fresh. Of course, it's not going to be as um, citrusy and maybe not as bitter, but it's still a very nice hoppy beer. Grapefruit, orange, a bit of lemon. Well, not, not lemon, just yeah, grapefruit, orange, maybe a bit of... Um, even tangerine there. Caramel notes. Light to medium bodied, fairly uh, low carbon, lowly carbonated, which I like. I don't like overly carbonated IPAs that are too crisp. And the sweetness is balanced, it's there. You could say it's a sweet beer, but it's not, you know, super sweet or anything like that. It's fairly uh, mild in the sweetness department as well. So, yeah, Lagunitas IPA, really good. I wasn't expecting that much from it, but provided this is a sort of a classic staple IPA of the West Coast and people like it and it's sold and well distributed throughout the States, by the way. Yeah, you can get this almost anywhere. I got this in New York City um, and it's very, you know, reasonably priced. So I'll probably try this again. Yeah, it's a nice pick. Not the best IPA I've had. 
because just from the top of my head, I can't think. Um, yeah, I, I could think of you know, Green Flash and uh, the Race of Five, um, and other things like that, and the Stone IPA. This is very very similar, but uh, what I like about it at this stage, I guess it's old, uh, but still, um, the sweetness is there, and it's not super one-dimensional even though I said that in the aroma but in the taste it's it's quite you know quite versatile quite diverse in a way so yeah good beer Lagunitas IPA I would give this at least an 8 if I was to you know if I were to grade this yeah great beer I'm gonna enjoy the rest of it um, try it if you haven't it's a good beer cheers guys takes a good beer hopefully next time I'll come back with a full review um, I have a feeling I'm going to finally review the third bit from El Halak, the, uh, the Porter. Alright, cheers.